in this video, we are going to be looking at our electricity problem in white physics practical. So we use the diagram as a guide. We have a, a battery, a resistor, an ammeter, all connected in series to a key and then through a jockey to the potentiometer. This represents the potentiometer. This is the jockey, the ammeter, the key, the resist resistor, and the cell. Now let us follow the instruction. You are provided with a potentiometer and ammeter standard resist for cells and other necessary materials. One, connect the circuit as illustrated in the diagram above. Use the jockey to make contact with the wire at the point T such that AT equals D, which is equal to 20 cm. This is point T. So the length between this and this is going to be 20 cm. Three, close the key. Take and record the ammeter reading I. Evaluate I inverse. Then five, repeat the procedure for the values of D equals 30, 45, 60, 17, and 85 cm. Tabulate your readings. Plot a graph with I inverse on the vertical axis and D on the horizontal axis. Determine the slope S and the intercept C on the vertical axis. Okay, we have to evaluate something there. That is missing. So look at that. Then state the precautions taken to ensure accurate readings. So let us look at how we will connect this circuit and take readings. So this is the potentiometer, the positive terminal and the negative terminal. We have our battery of two cells. We have our two ohm resistor. We have our ammeter. So we, in the ammeter, we have the neutral. And we have the, this is positive two arm. And this is positive five. And we are going to be using the two arm. This is a key, the knob for the key to close and open the key. Then we have our jockey. So this is our jockey to make contact with this. So let's do the connection. So first of all, we'll connect the positive terminal of the battery to the potentiometer. Okay, next is the negative next is the negative terminal of the battery to the two ohm resistor. So we are following the circuit. Let me go to the circuit again and explain this. So the positive terminal of this or the negative terminal of the battery goes to the two ohm resistor. That is what we have just done. Next is to connect the ne this negative terminal to the negative terminal of the ammeter. Okay, because the resistor has been connected, connected, so connect the other resistor to the negative side of the ammeter. So this is the, so this is the connections. So you see from this, from this to this, this to the negative terminal, the positive terminal, we are using the two arm to this, then this to the jaw key. So where is the key? So this is the key that we use to close the switch. A potentiometer, no, it's okay. A potentiometer, that is a potentiometer. So the positive terminal, I run through that again, the positive terminal of the potentiometer to the positive terminal of the battery, the negative terminal of the battery to this. This has no terminal. There's no terminal for this. And each, each, each where you connect it becomes the negative or what? Positive. So this negative connects with this negative. Then we'll complete the circuit. I connected this positive two amp. The other side is five amp. We are using the two for this class. Then this, and this connects to this. So let's uh, quickly take the reading. So what are our readings? So we have to. So this is our table of readings. We have to set D equals 20 cm and take the value of I. So let's uh, take D to 20 cm. Yes, it's close. Start. So we have closed the circuit. So let's place, put the terminal at 20. So that's 20, right? So let's take our readings. Our current reading is, let's come and take it from this. You don't stand here. So we are using the, the top one, the top one. Okay. Okay. Now let's see. For this ammeter, we are using the two ohm. The two. This 
at the top represent, represents the two ohm. So to get the, uh, this, the division of each of these smaller lines, from here to here is 0 0.5, and the lines are divided into 10. So 0 0.5 divided by 10 is 0 0.05. So whatever you have on this, if it stands on this place, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 times 0 0.05, that will definitely give me what? 0 0.25. So that is how you take your readings from this. You have to know the division on all of this so that you can easily take it. So our multiply factor is going to be 0 0.05. Okay, so let's take the next reading. So we are taking 30. We are taking 30 now. So let's place that at 30. Okay, that's 30. So let's read the uh, current uh, value. That's it's on zero point. That's zero point eight. So we have on eight there. So zero point eight times zero point zero five. That's zero point four. So for the next one, we have a forty-five. So place it at forty-five. So that will give us what? Zero point three five. Zero point three five. So next is sixty. So place it at sixty. Press it. So this is going to give us 0 0.3. So we take for 70. This one is 0. Point, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 times. Let's take the reading for 45 again, 45 quickly. So what do we get? One, two, that's in between, right? Yes. In that's between, a between. seven times 0 0.5. 0 0.5. Okay. So where is that? Count it. That one is on eight. Eight. No? Eight. So next is 85. So what do we have? Eight times zero point zero five. Yeah. Let's take those readings again. So let's put it at twenty. Put it at twenty. So come and read. Oh yeah, come and read it. That's seven times zero point five. Seven point five.